Hey everybody, Perfect Phoenix here. Average person, average intelligence. Last episode, we explored more of the Valley of Repose, discovered dungeons, and in this episode, it's kind of loud on my headphones, we're exploring a new area we discovered, the Awakening Wood. What kind of treasures and stuff live in here? I don't know. But already I see a red bulb or bulb axe or whatever the hell they're called, I forgot to check. I see a strawberry too. Good morning, it should please you to know that the purple Pikmin are located safely in my home. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. How can he tickle you? You're a machine. What was your father, a ma massage chair? <laughs> Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call out the purple Pikmin. Now, before I start with the date, let me show you how powerful the purple Pikmin are. And Louis over there standing, staring at nothing. We only have 10, but... Right now, let's actually do something. Um... You know what? I'm gonna grab out the reds, too. Because last episode, we did not do well. Remember, I went and tried to rush a Bulblax, but it failed. Um, we're gonna go over here first of the day. See these blades of grass? Well, if Pikmin goes near it, they will start picking it. Louis, has Elmar instructed you in the peculiarities of Pikmin creatures? Pikmin form groups, yes. Okay, we know this. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Elmar, remember to properly train human employees. Hey, ship, remember your place. Damn, ship, you're a machine. You're not supposed to know things. If we do this, ah, and did you see that? Oh, look at we got a moo! <sighs> I never, I never miss it. So, the Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar inside an instantly matured the flower Pikmin. It de does appear to have intense motor skills. Flower Pikmin are faster and leaf Pikmin stronger. You must sure. <sighs> Anyway, yes, if you pluck in blades of grass, sometimes nectar will come out. Apparently not this time. Yeah. But I think, yeah, not all of our flowers are... Well, none of our Pikmin are flowers. So let me just use the reds to take out the bulb, the bulb orbs. Dwarfs. If you knock out the bulwarps any other way, they will scream out, and they will wake up the bulwarp. Now, let's take our purple Pikmin just to see how strong these things are. Oh, I hate those things anyway, but... See, look at the flowers are faster than that one leaf. <laughs> Why do I always have one leaf whenever I do this? Alright, watch this. Purple Pikmin, when you throw, they thud, and look at he's stunned. He can't do anything while the purple Pikmin kill him. Oh, destroy him, kill him. Yeah, you know, it's kill. This is survival. This is a rated teen game. No, it's actually rated E for everyone. It's scary. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna start gathering up some reds here because we actually do need some more reds. So I'm gonna have these guys carry that back. Um, we're gonna get the strawberry up here, which is just resting. I don't know who left the strawberry out here. But I forgot to mention in the last episode, that globe we picked up the other day? That globe actually represented what the game is about. Because this is actually what is thought to be, uh, an Earth after humans. Like, everything just evolving and taking over. Like, life taking over, something like that. Loot, all of my wiring with me. Um, oh, these are purple sheer wigs. These won't harm you, but they will do something later on that's annoying as hell. Wow, they already picked up that strawberry fast. See, flower pigment are way faster than normal. Sunseed berry. And 10% of death recovered. Yeah, get used to seeing that, because you're going to be seeing that a lot. Um, I'm trying to rush this day a little bit, because there is something I want to get before. This day ends. Ooh, honey wisp. Uh, those things, if you knock them down, they will drop nectar. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have the Pikmin start taking down this wall. Ooh, that enemy I don't like either. Dude! Alright, you know what? Fine. You can work on this. 
Anyway, Almar, you stay here. I'm gonna grab the rest of the reds and start gathering this stuff because we're actually gonna need what's here. Damn, that's a lot of Pikmin to pluck. Plucky, plucky the Pikmin, pluck, 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 plucky, pluck, pluckity, 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 poop, pluck these Pikmin. Anyway, now here's another new thing in Pikmin that wasn't introduced yet. If you throw these Pikmin up here, they drop these berries. Um, you can carry that back. These berries do not have any trick. You know what, the ship will explain it, because the ship likes to be smart like that. Oops. No! Dude, get that one. Oh, check it out. See, that flower is fast. And why is he itching his flower? How could you itch your flower? I'm sorry, but it's like... Astounding! This red berry contains an ultra-spicy essence. It does not appear to have any momentary, momentary value, but I shall possess it for research purposes. <laughs> oh yeah, those people will carry that back. Um, oop, my Wemo just went... Pfft. Alright, good enough. Anyway, those, I think if I collect all of them... The rest of you can work on this wall to help out. Because, you know, you guys need to help out more. Anyway, we'll get that honey, honey wisp after we take up. Who dropped this? You're an idiot. Get that back. I am a terrible boss. You're an idiot. Take that back. Yep, this is the last one. Tutorial. Anyway, after he drops this, the tenth one, check it out. It's red and squishy. Ooh. Captain Olimar, when you research on the red berries you discovered, have given the powerful potion. Behold, the ultra spicy spray. Although it's untested, I believe they have spectacular results. Spray it on your Pikmin by pressing 2. If necessary, I can produce one drop of 10 berries. So that for every 10 berries you bring this guy, he will make you a red potion. Which I will explain when we need it. Yes, yeah, so, oh my god, you're gonna face what red potions do later. So terrifying. Call up our Pikmin because of that stupid thing. I forget what this is called too, but... Watch what happens when you get close. Oh, here a cool looking bug. And anyway, I purple Pikmin stun him. You want to rush his face. He will take one Pikmin, but when he dies, but he will not eat the Pikmin because he died. And yeah, now he's out. Now, before we continue, do you see something wrong with that flower? That flower blinked. Well, guess what this flower is? Throw a Pikmin? Oh my god, you're hideous! Come on, purples. Oh my god, stop getting in the way, Reds. Yes, yeah, me, the Creeping Chrysanthemum, a new enemy in Pikmin. They take the form of sunflowers, which are they're pretty damn good at sunflowers, but... If you go over here, I actually want to... No, wait, no, you have to take that down. Shit. But anyway, check it out, guys. We got that, and then if we go over here, we can crush this. But right now, I want to get this first because this is the most important on my list. We're going down into this dungeon. No, wait. Because their, their biological sensors are reacting on violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group be reassuring. My sensors are picking up hostile roars, many beasts. Expect dangerous things. Sensors are also showing extreme hypocrisy, may need flame resistant Pikmin, but my records indicate no such data. <sighs> Alright. This. This we're gonna tackle on later in the day, which is the whole of beasts. Creative name coming from the most creative ship in the world, I know. We need 200 Pikmin. I believe we do have two. No, wait, no, we don't. We need to get. Oh, God, half the day already. God damn, time goes fast in this game. Hmm. 
you need to get a hundred total pick. Wait a minute. No, I don't think you can get a hundred. We need to go to Holt. Motherfucker, I'm wasting time. I am sorry, guys. I am like a completely organized. It's been a while since I've practiced this game. Well, it hasn't been because I completed the game like last month, but that was last month. It took me like forever to do this. Anyway, go in with these Pikmin. It's already 10 minutes in the episode, so I'm going to end this off soon because I don't want these episodes to be too long. The Hole of Beasts, episode, episode 1. Yes, Hole of Beasts, episode 1, featuring Olimar and Louis, the famous sitcom the duo. I do believe there are no dangerous enemies in here. I could be wrong. And I usually am. And I keep burping. Uh. Oh, purple share wake. Die. Or, you know, not die after I throw the freaking purple at you. Hey, why do my reds keep going in front when I throw a purple? Look at this. Alright, everyone get in. Thank you. Goddamn reds. I'm gonna be doing that a lot late. A lot. Goddamn reds. I'm gonna have my purples in front because I still don't trust this area. I haven't been trusting areas. Dude. Why are you not getting stunned? No! No! Get away! Get away! Ooh! No! No! No, you bitch! Phew. We lost the Pikmin. Great. That was a male shear week. No! Stop eating my Pikmin! Damn! Stop picking up these stupid shear wings! God, we already lost the Pikmin on the next day. God damn, five Pikmin deaths. My god, I suck. Oh my god, stop. Alright. Enough fucking around, let's get this control pad. Yes, in Pikmin 2, there's a lot of funny treasures in this place. And look at it, it's a control pad. I mean, come on. Well, looking at it, it kind of looks like a control pad from the arcade machines. Honestly, it doesn't look plastic, it looks more metal. But then again, I could be wrong. Then again, I could be wrong. I love how they're just bunching in the corner. Stone of Glory. That's it for treasures on this floor? Usually I expect to be more. I believe I do believe the whole of Beast has like five levels. Sorry if I'm rushing this day, because there's something I want to get before the day ends. Which is actually kind of funny, but... I mean, we could take our sweet time, but then again, I don't want this LP being too long. Considering how long Mario Galaxy is, and I haven't recorded any episodes of that. I only record when I have the chance. Oh, check it out. More purple flowers. Is that it? Ooh, eggs. Ooh. Mushrooms. Empty. Let me just scout this area a little bit. Um, okay, good. Just one egg. Damn. That's are cheap. Now, you may think, oh, what if you toss a flower into these. Oops. What if you toss a flower into these? Would you get a flower? No, you won't. When you throw a Pikmin into it, regardless of what class it is, I guess, I, I would call them classes, you will always get leaps. So, you want to hold A and press down on your remote. No, down on your remote. Down on the control pad. And you can switch your colors, or so now we got two, ten more blues. Ooh, blues. Purples! Blue and red make purple, so I can you can understand where I got that from. So red and blue Pikmin have sex and then they have purple Pikmin. I'm kidding. No, I wouldn't make sexy references. But then again, no. I wouldn't. Wait, did I seriously did lose a purple? No. I was gonna say, did I lose a purple back there? And then... And then with eggs, you want to be extremely careful because... 
Oh, good. Okay. Just nectar. Alright, in order to make sure that I don't get mixed up. Oh, no, wait. You know what? I'm just rushing there. Because we, we have plenty of chances to get nectar. And we still have that a couple purple leaves. Great. Let me get back here. Anyway, there's no treasure on this floor, so we can go straight down the next floor. Which is actually kind of surprising. I thought there would be treasure down here. Or up here. Down here, what am I saying? Oh, great. The introduction of how useful reds are. I'm gonna separate them because this floor is actually kind of tedious. Check it out. Fire geysers. In Pikmin 1, you couldn't get rid of these, but in Pikmin 2, your red Pikmin can get rid of these now. Red Pikmin are, as you can see, oblivious to fire. Oblivious, unaffected by fire. I don't know if there are any enemies here. I am always fearful of enemies in this game, because this game has traumatized me so much when I was practice running it. But yeah, this game is going to traumatize me even more when I get to later parts. Ooh, look at it. It's a floppy disk! I haven't seen those since 1991. Again, I was a baby back then, so I haven't seen those in 1999. I don't know. Ooh, I see a treasure. Okay, I got that guy there first, you stupid idiot. Now I get the treasure. Oh man. Anything here? Alright, so that's it, I guess. We just took out all the fire geysers, which made it easier for our Pikmin. Now they can carry that back, and let's check this Mojang. Mojang. Mojang? Mojang? I don't know. Strife Monolith. Pikmin take forever, you know that, right? Well, then again, I could throw more, so one might complain. Cosmic Archive. And that's it for treasure. If you hear that wearing down sound, like the. That means you have no more treasure on this floor. So, without further ado... Oh, I thought for a second there was another sheer wig. God, I hate this game. Well, I don't hate it, I just hate the traps they do. And look at that, a red leaf is always lagged behind. I mean, come on. Stupid red leaves. Hold up B, sub-level 4. If you're wondering, this has 5 sub-levels. And this floor, I remember being extremely tedious. Not tedious, but... Oh, that's nice. Uh, you already saw the power of Purple Pikmin, so I'm just gonna rape his face. He's at an awkward angle, too. His back is facing the... I'm gonna... Can I get around him? Yeah, he's, he's protecting an egg, you douche. Anyway, with 20 purples at our side, this guy does not stand a chance. And looks like he's holding the treasure. A Game & Watch thingy. Alright, let me... You know what? I'm gonna have the reds. I'm gonna have Louie eliminate the fire guys. Because if any other Pikmin, a hint, hint, get near a fire guy there, they will combust and start running around like crazy. I will not show that off, but I know it will happen to me one time. And I believe over here, it's a card. 
I remember when I was watching Chugga play this, he said that Nintendo was actually a card company back in the day. Which was kind of crazy, but... Now we can throw more Pikmin and we have more purples. Which is why I haven't cracked open the egg yet. Isn't that neat? More purples. That leaves us at 25 purples. Now you want to save your purples because it's unlike red Pikmin, you can't replicate these up up. Um you can't replicate these outside of dungeons. So purple Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can be uh reproduced in dungeons. Check it out, 140 for a single card. Luck wafer. It's the ace of spades too. I don't know what is the up of the ace of spades. Anyway, with that, and once our purples catch up, see, look how slow they are, too. We're gonna- oh, I forgot. The game I'm watching. No, I need all my purples. Only my flowers pick this up. Then again, I'm facing at it at an awkward angle, so... No. No. Stupid. There we go. I want only my flowers because I want to knock out this egg. Good. Dude, why didn't you share with that one leaf purple? You know what? Let me see. Do it. Yeah, I have a leaf purple and a leaf red. Oh, you are kidding me. Now we lose that. We get this treasure, which is Dream Architect. Dude, look at. Let me run around a little bit. Hold on. Dude, I have a red leaf and a red purple. Are you kidding me? Hey, where's the exit in this place? I want to get out as fast as possible. No, I was here already. Oh, right over here. Screw you, mushroom. And apparently, Foe can't tell his directions. <laughs> um, we're gonna run out of time because this is the final floor. And I just got a message from my phone. I will check that while the game saves. Nothing special. I do not like the fact that it's floor, but next time, we will continue on what's making that snoring, and whatever the hell happened to this creature. Look at this. God damn. It kind of looks like a bug. But... Until next time, I will see you guys then. I will not be recording any more episodes. Let me show you something real quick. Now, you're maybe thinking, why am I quitting now? You do remember when I was, le when I was leaving the hole I was saving, correct? Well... This is actually the reset method, which... If you go back to your Pikmin... As soon as it loads, I'm just showing this off before I end the episode, because that way I can show you guys that when I start off the episode, I'm not doing anything stupid. Okay, you're actually seeing the title screen again. No, not again, because I started off with stupid cinematic. Then you go to save files, that's my practice file again. Hole of Beast, sub-level 5, you see? So when I go back in there... I'm, I appear right there with all the Pikmin I have. So yeah, until next ca next time, guys, we'll take on whatever is in that dun whatever's in that dungeon, or whatever the hell squished that poor bug, and we'll continue on with our day. Hopefully, getting what I'm trying to get at that one place. So see you guys next time.